Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm also pretty much awesome, like Bob. <laughs> uh, like I say, we are, we are very excited, or I am very excited, because uh, we've been developing stones for, well, we started in March, I think. And this is the first time that we actually have a display, display to, uh, to fans and to press and, and to, to people who are not normally engaged. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take you on a little tour of the game, uh, what it is so far. And what we've done for, for Minecon is to, uh, to create a single player version. I'm going to choose a character and I'm going to skip the tutorial pages. To get into the game and try to explain it to you what we have it now. So basically, I chose the character on, uh, on your left. Um, this is the battle you're going to see right now. The left, the left part of it would be my part of the battle. That's where I can summon my units and siege weapons and uh, other other types of means to, to defeat my enemy. To defeat my enemy, I need to destroy three of his five items. You see them in the back. At the back is battle field. Let's talk about this. So the way I go about doing this is I have a uh, number of scrolls that I can play. Uh, but I first need to have the resources to play them. To get resources, I can sacrifice any of these scrolls. Uh, I right click in and choose what type of resource I want. So now you can see that I have a uh, resource here, a new resource bro. And looking at this part right here, we can see that it costs one green resource. Now this is a unit with one attack power, one life, and it attacks every turn. It's charge number one. So I click it, play it somewhere on the battle. Now you can see the attack tab on the right side where it will attack. So I'm gonna place it right here. Uh, and then I don't have any resources left now, so I'm going to press the enter. And my uh, not so smart AI yet will summon the unit. My turn again, I get some new scrolls to my hand. And as you can see now, by hovering the, the, the unit that I have, that the unit that my opponent summons is in its attack path, which means that my unit will not be attacking his idols, but instead will be attacking that unit. So I'm gonna, before I make that happen, I'm gonna sacrifice another scroll, get some more resources, and summon another unit there. And also, I'm gonna play this scroll right here. This, uh, this is an enchantment which makes the unit a little bit stronger. It adds one attack power into the hit point. So I'm gonna use that on my unit, summon unit. Break it to see that now it has the data. Oh, sure. So I end this turn now, and when I end the turn, they will rather this one will attack because its charge counter is now zero, as you can see. And my opponent dies. It's on the wall now. Um, if you want to see the 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 buildings that my opponent is attacking, simply click them. You can be it on. Uh, this wall has three life. Uh, it does not attack, it's a, it's a wall, and it has the ability that all damage dealt to the wall is reduced to one. So even if I had a massive unit attacking it, it will only take one damage. Now, if I want to start beating down this wall, you see it's not in the attack path right now. So what I can do is once per unit per turn, I can move them one tile in any direction. So I'll move it up here and it will attack the wall. Now, I have a, a number of different scrolls at my disposal, but um, I only had a few to play with at the time. The rest is in, in the deck, and I, I will get, well, in the demo, we get two new scrolls every turn. Um, some of them are expensive, like this. It costs six resources, and it's a uh, <coughs> sorry, damage dealing spell that, that uh, will hit a total of seven tiles. 
do a lot of piece of damage. So in order to play this, obviously, I would have to sacrifice, keep sacrificing the sports that I have in my disposal. It's also I will sacrifice the wall and uh, to build up my 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 resource pool, which is now green. For attack, I will actually play a shrine. And what this does is uh, increase the life of all my units by one, as long as it is played. And, turn. and as you can see, the top unit is scalpel and actually cause some damage. I'm going to hold down the control button to see the status of all the units. So this idol up here only has eight life death. And as three of these gets down to zero, I will win the game. And that's basically the concept of this game. And as in most uh, games that, that uh, are sort of collectible card game, the genre, uh, the game are, is only as powerful as the content that you put in the game. Uh, that is something that we are still working on, of course. Uh, but even so, we, we, are, we are very excited to, to, to present this game now at Minecon with, with, uh, for the Minecraft fans, to, to let them be the first 